look at me. So perfectly timed. Bro, oh, dude, well played. Well played. Yeah. Well Actors, and they would come here, and they would be in this big room between all of the um, script writers to the producers, and they would gather in this big table, and they would just read, and they would make the changes. They would change anything they need to do before they take it to film. Um, and the reason I say that is because. Uh, every now and then, like if you're in this area, like there's like your for you page, right? Um, and sometimes you'll see certain celebrities from certain Netflix shows or movies, and they're in this area. They're just getting coffee. They're getting Jamba Juice. Like one was like Millie Bobby Brown before like she got old. Like I think it was season two, and she's just like walking around, just like minding her own business, kind of a thing. But uh, people always ask, like, how often you see them? Like you really don't see them um, because a lot of them, depending on the popularity that they're in, are like just how famous they're getting, um, they have to start really being careful kind of a thing. And so, um, but here to my left um, is actually Bernstein High School. This is where I graduated. Um, and during the time that I was coming to school here, they were actually filming the show Glee. Um, oh, really? Yeah, oh, no. you, may, you may be a fan of it. I am not. <laughs> I'm gonna be I honest, I don't like using the words as much, but I hate it. Uh, because they would, they would seriously be filming all day. And this specific episode, they started literally from like seven in the morning and I was here for practice and they still weren't done. Uh, because certain producers are trying to go after making sure that they're getting the right shot, the right scene. And so literally that episode, you might know it, it was, I don't remember what it was, but the song was Stereo Love. And uh, literally we'd be in our classrooms and we just, uh, that little part that comes kind of whatever, over and over and over and over. So um, I was coming to school when that show was being filmed and you know, there's a lot of cool opportunities as well when there's like certain um, films or movies that are being shot at schools and stuff like that. Um, for example, um, one of my friends, like her high school, high school uh, for her senior year, she actually got to be an extra as a cheerleader for that group. Um, and it was because um, we were part of the yearbook and we had to go and ask questions. And because they were filming, we had the opportunity to go behind the scenes, like while they're filming, all the stuff. We got to ask questions to certain celebrities, or like certain actors and actresses. All part of the studio, but you can see how close it is to the street. Like there's no um, spacing whatsoever. Dr. Phil's studio. And so, um, I think so. So that's why a lot of these older companies Dr. that were studio. sold it when it's not. One of the uh, Netflix buildings, I think is what it said. see like the awards. Let's see if I can pull up here. Before they put all the you actually could have, you could see they have like a wall right here. Um, you can kind of see it through the window. Um, and you see all the oh, awards yeah. that they have won from I see it. a yeah, lot I of can their see actors, of actresses, and, and stuff like that. And so, uh, yeah, I see it. This is you probably can't see it. Oh, no, you can't see it in the video. The nice. Or certain things and stuff right like that. there. Um, but they have three big properties now here in Hollywood um, that you get to see later. So, yeah. Um,
characters that would have been in those shows. Um, but now, because they've grown so much, um, you'll see them in a uh, bigger like capacity of filmmaking, especially be behind the, the, the graphic design studio. So they're the ones that were responsible for like the prices, right? Uh, CBS. Uh, Jeopardy. Uh, uh, the X Factor back then, Dancing with the Stars, all that. But again, they, they outgrew, so they had to sell it. So, but um, so you'll see that it has like the old front look with the new look in the back. Uh, all right, Minor, you've been talking so much about movies and films. What about music? Um, so, Palladium is one of the most popular places for upcoming artists. Or, if it's a very popular band, um, they they like to do what's called a test market. Um, so, when a you can think of certain artists that you may like, and the manager or like the team or the production team want to know how well they're going to do a tour. They do it on a small scale first, and the Palladium is one of those places that is actually used the most uh, for upcoming artists or existing artists. And so, what they do is they want to see how people respond to songs, how they react to this, or this or that, or what song is going to do well, because most of the time those artists may have 15 songs, but maybe only 10 songs are very popular. Uh, and that, that is the first uh, studio ever built when people were moving from the East Coast out here, um, and that was the first, um, it was a TV show, it was a Western one that was being filmed, um, with uh, Nirvana, uh, with Kurt Cobain, um, Red Hot Chili Peppers, um, uh, what's the other one, like a lot of these early punk rocks, like uh, artists that were coming out of it into alternative, I'm coming as a comedian artist, uh, they would actually come here, the Laugh Factory, um, so this is where like, even like if they're so popular and they don't want to do these big um, shows and they just want to go back to like those days where they like started early, um, they can come here, they can rent out, they can do things whatever they want. But this is a very popular place that uh, comes here to uh, that a lot of these comedians come. And it's it's always said that like if you're able to like do one at the Laugh Factory, that the chances of you making it out is very high. Uh, but on top of that. West Hollywood, which is its own city. It's separate from the city of LA. They have their own, like, literally their own city council. They're a lot more sh like stricter in certain things. On is this it's this famous uh, Sunset Strip. So we'll we'll get through it in a second. But uh, does anybody know David Dobrik? Oh yeah, yeah. Him. So, yeah. I know. I remember him. when people were going crazy for his pizza shop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right yeah. up here. So Best pizza ever. ever. No, that's oh, oh, is this is this yeah. corner building where they did the Five Nights at Freddy's pop up? I think so. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah, it's a gorgeous field. Is it pizza? Freddy Five. Or 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 or. So good. Wait, is it a hot dog? Oh, it's good. It's good. Ah, nice. President stays here. Iconic for films um, like uh, Pretty Woman um, that was filmed here. And uh, does anybody uh, know the first Spider Man with Tobey Maguire? Yes. 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 When he takes Mary Jane and leaves her on the roof. Oh, oh, oh that's this building. Oh, right here. Wow. Oh, wow. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Nice. Yeah, that ain't New York. Do you think they give us discounts? 